Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge, that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you need to find what the fuse for the rear power outlet socket is located, which fuse controls it on Ford Edge, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say, the fuse on that forage for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two you're back on the road guys so that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can so guys for the rear power outlet guys okay which fuse we need to check we're going to demonstrate on that generation four edge right here we have many hidden fuse boxes in that four edge that most people do not know where they're located we will guys recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on four edge but what you guys need to do now you need to go ahead for the rear power outlet socket we need to open the hood and here under the hood on that four edge on the driver's side next to your car battery right here we have a fuse box press these two tabs open the cover and and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out we need to check just one fuse that fuse controls the rear cigarette lighter also known as rear power outlet socket now guys please make sure you stay until the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us if you come in that first row of fuses right here guys facing the vehicle will be that way so if you come in that row towards the windshield we need to check guys fuse number nine we are talking about this fuse right here that will be guys okay the rear cigarette lighter rear power outlet socket fuse on ford edge so guys this generation ford edge has all kind of different fuses and relays fuses and relays that could be really hard to find especially if you live in a small town if you're in the middle of nowhere one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came so we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from hopefully the video will be helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to let us know thank you guys for watching and see you next time